dinosaurs are very interesting and cool. It's just because they're like humongous and they used to like walk right where we're standing. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm nine years old. I go to a school called Clayton Partnership School. I just think it would be cool to be able to find a thing that lived like millions of years ago. Interested in becoming a scientist? Oh, that's cool. So uh, we'll go, I'll take you to my office so you have a chance to see what a, a scientist's office looks like. And then we'll go to the big bone room. We're here to interview Richard Stuckey, curator of paleontology at the Nature and Science Museum. A paleontologist does, well, they go to like fields and look for dinosaur bones. <laughs> Animals, organisms have a sense of beauty that you don't see when you're looking at a regular rock. And so you look for, you look for color and you look for, you know, I don't know exactly how to describe it, you'd have to be out there to see it, but you look for symmetry, you look for beauty, you look for things that, that look like they ought to not be there and they turn out to be fossils. See that? <laughs> Any guesses of what that might be? Now. Well, it could be. Yeah, it has big eyes. Mm -hmm. No doubt about that. It's got, it's got a big brain. Mm -hmm. Okay, big brain case. Well, what this is is a 50 million year old monkey. It's a monkey. Well, I started studying dinosaurs when I was in first grade. Now I'm in third. But then I saw this really, really cool dinosaur book, and I decided to read it. And then I remembered how like interesting dinosaurs were. And so I decided to start studying them again. And then I asked my parents what like a scientist who studies dinosaurs is called. And they told me a paleontologist. And so, yeah, that's kind of why I like dinosaurs. A little far. Everybody's got to touch this one now. Now everybody can go home and tell their friends and family that they touched a Tyrannosaurus Rex bone. <laughs> What's the most exciting thing you've learned doing, during your career? The most exciting thing that I've learned during my career? Huh. That animals change. Mm. And life changes over time. And, uh, you know, there, we've had four billion years of life up to this point in time that have lived on Earth. Four billion years, that's a long time. Well, you know what? We got four more billion years of the history of the Earth left where life can live. And just think of all the evolution, all the changes that will take place in the future. It looks like a dinosaur version of my hamster Frankenstein. Ew! It's winking! What is the... Most exciting recent discovery that was made? Uh, there was an animal that was found that was in between an amphibian uh, and a fish. Wow. And so, and so that animal told us about the transition from water to land in our history. And so that was a really, really important discovery. We want to get you so you can see down into that microscope. Can you see down into it now? Kind of? Yeah. Okay, great. But this is all dirt that we collected from a cave in Colorado. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is a process called picking. Picking? Picking, yeah. And what we do is we take uh, you know, bits of rock that we've collected from the field and uh, we look at it under the microscope and we look for little tiny bones. So every little bone that you see you're the first person to ever see it, and they represent animals that are about a million years old. So go ahead. Okay, and with those tweezers, try and pick up that bone that you see. Okay. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's small. Yeah, that That's is really tiny. Big. But look at it. That's a big joint. 
Well, it's not a big joint. <laughs> it's a <little> joint. <laughs> but it's a joint. Uh -huh. I mean, you can actually see it, and it looks like a hinge. But that's not a human, is it? No. No, it's too <laughs> small. But the bone you found is one of these right here, and it's probably from a wood rat. A wood rat? A wood rat. Why is paleontology important to the world? How does it affect humans? You know, the very first time that you become an expert where you know more than your parents is in dinosaurs. And so paleontology is important because it's the window that most students jump through to learn about science. It's their first, very first, you know, aspect of science. So it's important in that way. It's also important in that we study things in the past and so we can understand how things have changed through time and how um, we can look at the past and try not to make the same mistakes that have happened in the past so that we can understand the future and you know be better about adapting to the future. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Jordan. Mm -hmm. You asked some very good questions. It's really great. Thank you. And, you know, stick with the science in school. Okay. Yeah, it's really worth it. Really worth it.